accept this sacrifice in homage. Turn now this fresh, warm blood into a body of thy making. This innocent spirit into evil. In the shadowy world of Hammer Horror, where blood runs cold and fear lurks in every corner, there lies a tale of seduction, betrayal, and undead terror. Join us as we uncover 10 secrets about the 1971 gothic classic, Lust of a Vampire. 1. Disowned by director and star director Jimmy Sangster and star Ralph Bates, we're not fans of the final product. Bates even went so far as to disown the film, considering it one of the worst films ever made. Two, Swedish version shenanigans brisk actress Susanna Lee was in for a shock one day on set when she stumbled upon young girls practically naked. Producer James Carrera explained they were filming scenes for the Swedish version of the film, leaving Lee bewildered. Three, final film of Jack Melford at Lust of a Vampire, marked the end of Jack Melford's cinematic journey. 4. Last-minute casting Ralph Bates was cast on very short notice after Peter Cushing had to step down to care for his ailing wife. Bates later echoed sentiments about the film's quality, agreeing it was one of the worst. Ralph Bates was rather exciting. I liked him. I didn't get to know him, but I found as a 22-year-old that he was rather interesting. 5. Borrowed footage, the dramatic final shot of the burning castle was actually taken from another Hammer horror film, Scars of Dracula, 1970. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subbing and clicking the bell. Hope to become known as an extremely good actress. Hope to get an article sometime. With you to Stensgard, I don't mean to mean her talent in any way. It's very talented and did a lovely job. I came playing with a, a toothpaste commercial and, um, and uh, very, very well endowed and also, which helped. Six, part of a trilogy, Lust of a Vampire, was part of a loose trilogy, preceded by The Vampire Lovers and followed by Twins of Evil, all sharing the Karnstein family as the source of vampiric threats. Seven, embracing sexuality asterisk Jimmy Sangster didn't shy away from the sexual themes in Hammer films, stating, if sexy is going to add to the box office, then it's okay by me. Eight, Tragic timing production designer Bernard Robinson was set to join the film but tragically passed away just hours after being offered the role. 9. Ingrid Pitt's rejection Ingrid Pitt turned down the lead role, deeming the script horrible. However, she later starred in Countess Dracula. 10. Censorship and dubbing up due to censorship constraints, the lesbian elements were toned down and Mike Raven's voice was dubbed by Valentine Dial. And there you have it, 10 secrets behind the making of Lust of a Vampire, a film that continues to haunt and enthrall audiences to this day. With a title, we think to ourselves, what's a good title? And we think, um, to love a vampire. And so then we make a poster. And with this poster, I go around and see these distributors and say to them, how would you like to have a picture called To Love a Vampire? And they say, oh, wonderful, when can I have it? So I say, well, perhaps we can deliver it in about six months' time. And I say, you want to see a script, or do you want to know who's in it? And they say, no, don't bother about that. This is a hammer film, and we know it'll be all right. Who's your daddy? 